Okay, I'd like to call the meeting to order. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the City of Syracuse Landmark Preservation Board. Today is December 20th. President of today's meeting are Tom Cantwell, Bob Haley, Don Redke, Cynthia Carter, Lisa Tonzi, and Kate Alleter. The quorum is achieved. Uh, and excused absences? Uh, Dan. So I'm not sure where the other folks right. are. So. <laughs> okay, I'd like a motion to accept the minutes. So moved. Do I have a second? second. I second. Yeah. Second time. Any changes, modifications? Hearing none, seeing none. All in favor of accepting the minutes is submitted. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Old business. There is none. Oh. Yes, sir. There is. Well, there was a, a remark about the Amos building about how the board is supportive of the design, including the scale. But that is not unanimous. No, the board, not the unanimous. The board is right. sort of maybe in a majority supportive. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you talking about the minute, a yeah. comment in the minutes? I think it was in the minutes yeah. and uh, I'm not sure I'm looking at all. Do, would you like me to revise the, the minutes? Uh, yeah. yeah. Because I'm happy to do that. It's uh, on the second page towards the bottom, just above new business. Um, or maybe that's not the minutes. No, that's the staff report. Right. Well, we can certainly amend the minutes to reflect that it's the majority of the board. Okay, the okay great. Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll just double check to make sure. Okay. okay, zoning referrals. Project site review, 516 Prospect Ave. Is that applicant here? Yes. Come on. Come on up. As we always do in the uh, new administration, uh, the city is trying to be as transparent as we can. And um, so, so, yeah, I read it, yeah. just want to inform everybody that we are uh, live on film and audio. Would you please give us your name and address for the record? Uh, work Whichever. Uh, Jared McCormick, Daniel Manning Architects. Okay. 225 Wilkinson Street. Okay. You got the floor. Can you tell us uh, what you're looking to do here and uh, the jurisdiction of the board here? This is a project site review, so our jurisdiction is comment. Okay, coming at it just a little quick. I didn't realize I was to present anything here. Yeah. Um, you can just walk through what the project is for sure. us. It's uh, kind of an introduction. Is that something? Yeah. yeah. Right. So this project involves uh, 516 Prospect uh, The intent is for Elmcrest. To uh, occupy the building with a, uh, a daycare center. So, this is my additional Elmcrest service? Are they moving from where they are? No, no, it's, an, it's they're trying to service the, uh, the north side okay. with, uh, with their daycare, what they call early, early intervention. Uh, basically, anyone from infant age to preschool mm -hmm. um, will serve yep. probably 35 children. Part of the, building. the other portion of the building was intended to uh, provide a space for the Syracuse uh, School District's Refugee Assistance Program. Um, that involves major renovations to the interior of the building. Part of the part of the project was to address the facade with a um, entrance element uh, and update the exterior appearance of the building. Some, some of that scope was limited due to the budget and uh, scope. And just for the board's edification, the, the building is within the na uh, National Register District oh, on the okay. North Salina Street, um, mm -hmm. but it is a non-contributing building. Non -contributing. So, so really what the, the board's review is to consider what the impact to the surrounding district will be is of these changes. Um, the canopy is on the entrance that says the 516 was a 516 entry is that where the canopy is yes. do you have any more for any more details on the canopy they're so tiny I could barely right. see it I just I see it here you have an elevation in the side cross section is that the only two uh, you could describe it. Uh, the canopy is a, a just a small covering extending mm -hmm. approximately eight feet from the from the okay. building yep. it's angled back uh, towards the, the prominent corner of, of the building. In plan, you mean? In plan. I should look at that. I'm not sure. Sorry. What's the material of the canopy? It's, uh, it's a steel, it's steel frame. Steel frame. Yep. Okay. Uh, 
foundation material. Just aluminum. Uh, very, says, very narrow. Okay, it says a dark gray. I read that in a note? Yes. Yeah, and it's not in the plan, right? It's not showing on the plan. Okay. It could, probably should have been dotted or uh, unless I missed it somewhere. No, I, I think I see it. Like I thought it was. It looks like you're missing the architectural plans. Sheet. I've got one plan back here, but nothing in more detail. I, does it show it on this one? <coughs> yeah, this is all I'll do with that. That's right. An elevation and a side okay. elevation. Right. Right. Is that what you did? You have another sheet, maybe? Yeah, we have a couple other sheets. Um, do you have them with you? I can't. <coughs> So is the entire building being reskinned, or just just, the, just, the, just um, a few of the veneers, the and the rest of the vid is the break? The west and the south side. Okay, and that's with some cementation board. Is that correct? It's a uh, yeah, it's a five percent panel. And why are you doing this? Is this technically just for design, or well, they, they, the windows are probably thirty-five years old, so they wanted to replace all the windows. And address the very bland existing facade. Okay, so the fiber, just to help us here because we can't, you know, fiber cement is all of the horizontal rectangular uh, sections we see on two elevations only, right? Yes. Correct. South elevation and west elevation. Correct. There are no changes to the north and the, the upper two elevations in Correct. terms of material. Correct. And are there any other facade changes in the two upper elevations? No. No, no windows are closed. Oh, there are there are three new windows around the corner. Okay, these four or three or what? Here. Oh, I'm sorry. All, all the windows on the south are new are new, new windows. All of these? Those are all the new windows. They're, they're new windows, but they're not new window openings. No, they're not new window openings. Okay. They're just new windows. So you yes. tell us what those windows are. Just in yes, they're aluminum. Um, aluminum frame, aluminum. There's an insulated panel. Color cover the spandrel, just uh, no finish of them. Okay. okay. And the entrances here on the south is that all new shelf on the yes. existing insert? It's a replacement. If you if you look at the elevation below. Okay. Yep. yep. The um, cement board that's going up. What color is that? I do have the color sheets right there. I think I shared this. One is, one is a kind of a <coughs> taupe or gray. Uh, the other is a, it's a simulated uh, cedar. Do you have real samples of those, maybe? I do not have They would have helped immensely, just, you know, for yep. future reference. Yep. That's all, you know, it's always helpful. Yeah, um, zoning doesn't require, right. uh, actually. Well, just help us out. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, I know, I know. I would just say that for the applicants. Yeah, I, I'm, I apologize. I didn't realize that I would, I, we have some. Renderings I could have brought to cover it. Clear up. Yeah, okay. It would have helped your case just to be. One question that I have on the west elevation and the new uh, skinning yes. over the entryway, you change direction. Yes. You know, some are vertical, some are horizontal. Is there a reason for that? Is that just a design state? It's a design to try to... Just a minute. You said just a design issue. That's the part I disagree with. But continue. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> okay. So it is for purposes of design. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, I, I noticed that and I think that it's appropriate. But again, we can't see the best of your design intention from the... From the you know, from the That's all I'm trying to say. I understand it. It makes sense to me. The only part that doesn't make sense to me there are the pieces of the panel that are below the canopy. You, know, you see how these little sections below the canopy are extensions of the upper panels. I'll say it again. Look on your drawing there. You, below the canopy, you'll see very extensions of the same material, the vertical siding. And then when you come and approach a doorway, you see these little pieces over to the canopy, you don't see the panels. That's it's not an accurate reflection of <coughs> And that's a detailed myth. Yeah, yeah. But and it's, it's probably not accurate. Well, I don't know if it's accurate or not. Mm -hmm. said it wasn't. No, that's not accurate. 
So you're stopping those at the top of the canopy? Yes. That would make sense. Um, and from what I'm reading, if I'm reading this correctly, where we have just the design, um, they are two different colors, correct? One looks um, to be a mocha, one looks to be cedar? Yes. Uh, the ho horizontal is one color, the vertical is another color. Yes, and okay. then the running bond right. offset pattern is another. Right. Um, where's the running bond? It's at the base. Gotcha. Thanks. Okay. And we're looking for comment here. Right. Comment. First, and first and all, uh, there should be photographs that just shows you what, yeah. show you the surrounding, the uh, further right. Um, right. down or up prospects. Um, there are some heavily <coughs> renovated former residences. Right. Um, and then it's also looking towards, I think, the back, the back facade of the, um, the the what's it oh, flat iron building um, so just mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to give you some sense of where we are in the in the district oh and of course it's right next door to the to the uh, former open puppet hand. yeah the former open hand. this is the St. Joe's sign coming off the building yes and you have a new sign going up there no we do not okay yeah that was my question <laughs> uh, first of all I'm a, I, I appreciate the design intent that you're drawing show I just can't see it to the full uh, the quality that you're trying to deal with. I, I don't have a problem with the two colors. I do have small, a very small issue with the artificial simulation, but this is not uncommon for some new materials. Um, they call it a, a, a wood pattern. In fact, it's a cementitious material that is not perfectly like a wood pattern, so it's actually a new material for us to deal with. Right. That's why the samples are so helpful. In some cases, you certainly want, would not want this to be a Formica wood print appearance. Right. <laughs> Which would look cheap and yeah. stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a design um, <laughs> Just I think everything that you're doing here, I, I appreciate on this facade in terms of two materials and some uh, modulating of this rather, un, you know, rather common okay. '80s type of thing. So I, I'm in support of the project as you show it in the canopy, and it would just be the would, so. I, you know what I'm saying. And how about the site plan? Yeah, in terms of the walkways. Site plan. Very minimal work uh, uh, to, to the site, with the exception of trying to uh, reestablish an actual accessible entrance and parking for the for the front of the building. He's, the building has essentially two parts. There's this big, long, rectilinear space that's actually two full floors, and then the back third is basically a at grade single floor kind of in, in the middle. Currently all the accessible parking is or designated in the back in the rear of the building and they, they are they kind of indicate that they're come down the driveway and then across the front of the building, but that driveway is not uh, an appropriate slope. So yet the concept was to reestablish this accessible entrance at the front facing the prospect North Salina. With the canopy. Yeah. With the canopy and this uh, this radius mm -hmm. uh, sidewalk with the parking for that space or for that entrance being at the entrance of the parking lot uh, further down, further north. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you get out of your car and go down the public sidewalk. Yes. And all of that parking already exists, right? The, all that blacktop already exists. Yes. That's, you're not yes. creating. I know it's not part of the project, but is this a separately owned parcel here? All of, all of the three parcels involved are owned by St. Joe's. Okay. Is the, the crosswalks you have going, you've got two crosswalks shown. One's going to the garden and one going to the back door. Is that right? Or not? One's going, the one, the, the angled yep. crosswalk is the accessible route for the daycare entrance. Okay. So that's a play area, is it? Yes, okay. that is a, an enclosed fence so playground. And, and then where do the, when, how do the kids go back into the building? Do they go through this side door here? Yes. Okay. And what is the intention then in this spot here? That is currently all the lawn area. Yeah, and that's going to be maintained as yes. well? Okay, well, that's, I would very much support that. Okay. So let's show you a picture of that. Of the daily activity <coughs> building, this is beyond our purview. But is the kids going to get out of these doors, these two doors? No, 
just the door at the entrance. Just to like that maybe count or something. Sure, okay. Am I correct in not hearing any um, just a comment other than in support? Just one question. Sure. I didn't yeah. ask. I apologize. What's the railing of fencing that you have in mind? <laughs> The ramp fence, oh, it's, a, fence. it's I believe it's just a chain link um, fence, approximately five feet in height. I'm oh, sorry, the fence along the back is an existing. Okay, it's an existing, and then this new one here. That's a chain link. Yeah, and Paul you could sit four foot. Everyone, <laughs> is it four foot? It's marked. It's marked. I think it's four, a four, four foot it's high. On, it's on a raised concrete curb. Mm -hmm. So I believe the overall height would be. I think I'm going to speak five. for Bob when I say if you're adding a fence, we should probably. I know there's a budget concern, but you should probably up the quality a little bit beyond chain link. Yeah, that would be appropriate for this district. Um, a better quality than a chain link fence. You know, metal. That would, would be a recommendation. Picket style, something like that. Okay. And how about here? Is there a fence here or just a handrail? That's a handrail. Thank you. Thank you. Is that just a tube handrail? Yes. Okay. So. If I'm correct, the board is in uh, approval or positive comment with the suggestion that the new fencing be more of an aluminum steel picket style rather than chain link. Or just a black railing. Or a black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something other than chain link. Right, black. Uh, I do have a question. Why is, the, why is there the arc of this um, sidewalk in the front down here? Is that... It doesn't seem to be connecting to anything. They're just, why not just go straight up? We don't have. The, we don't have. We can either go straight up and then across in a, at a right angle. We can't go straight. We don't have enough distance to. Grade it's, it's for accessibility. It's mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's accessible. Oh, this is a slope. That's this what is, I was wondering. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's a pretty. Yeah, pretty steep oh, slope there. Okay. That yeah. that makes sense. Kate, do you have all of our comments in? I do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Nice job. Okay. We have a sign waiver, AS 18-26, 352 68 South Warren. Is that applicant here? I think that applicant, that about applicant appears not to be here. Okay. Eric, you're not here to represent that applicant. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just quickly remind the board of, um, and I wrote this in the, in the uh, you'll see, if you look in your, um, in the staff report too, mm -hmm. yep. you'll see that um, it was late in 2017, Right. Uh, yes. they proposed a similar sign. How mm -hmm. long ago was that? It was back in t uh, late 2017, uh, yep. I think yep. in the, uh, looks familiar. I remember yeah, like August, yeah, mm -hmm. August of, I think, oh, Late 2017, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you look in the staff report, you'll see the what they proposed before. It's a little higher up mm -hmm. on the building, and um, and still yeah. located at the end, a little larger. And now they've moved the sign down. Same location on that within that sort of corner void, um, but it's a little. It's a little narrower. It's still the same height. It's narrower though, so it's going to be sort of slotted into the corner. Um, it's but it's still sorry. What's in back of the signs? That's going to be open space. I believe there. that'll just be open space. Yeah. And the reason for the variance is because they are not a first floor tenant. Is that correct? That's basically that is basically it. <coughs> yeah, yeah. They're it just the, the zoning zoning does not the the sign ordinance does not allow for. Uh, upper story tenants that are not primary. more than fi not primary um, to to place. Um, what about the signs? size as it would relate to the existing? Well, so, well, if they had storefront, if they it had street fine. presence, right. then it would be basically one linear foot per per right. um, square. Oh, what is it? One square foot of signage to one linear to, foot to one anyway. linear foot, right? Yeah. So it's a one to one. So um, this is a, a first floor tenant. Or no, no, it's second. not. It's it's just, but it's a tenant of, of a secondary position. They're not the primary tenants for the building. They're not naming the building. Right, right. But it's a tenant. It is a tenant. They are they are on the second floor. Have we asked them? Uh, yeah, sorry. This is going to a zone that we don't have perfectly defined in the city. 
which is a building signage plan that shows how other tenants right. manage their signage within the overall building. In other words, the primary we understand clearly. If you're 51 percent, right. you can right. add Right, and so that, that's so. they're called the Barclay Damon building now. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, right. The secondary tenants, because the tertiary tenant, the third tenant here, will want another right. sign very soon, right. and they'll want it in another position. Oh, just stacking yeah, up exactly. that corner, Whatever. right? So there should yeah. be a, a building plan approach to tenant signage that yep. is manageable. Yep. I would agree with that. I would suggest that we, that the board agrees that we push this off to the next meeting and ask the applicant to give us a building signage plan. Exactly. Um, to manage but this. That, that's not the applicant, though. That would be the and owner. That's the owner. Um, we do need comment about. It, doesn't about the this. owner have to sign this? The, the the applicant is actually the. Right, but it. The, yeah, the owner. I believe. I can I can yeah, pass. Can along. you check that because I believe the owner has to yeah, I be can, a signatory also. Well, it seems I can do that, like but I think the owner that we also has need comments. approved it. Yeah. Right. The owner thinks it's fine. Right. Yeah. But I think we had made a comment before about not filling the void, and right. they're still trying to fill the void. Right. So yeah. I think we have to right. continue to say that that's not right. appropriate. And if we feel that the sign is appropriate, it should be moved to the side of the building. It shouldn't be in this void. I, 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 I tend to, to that. agree with that. Uh, um, we've made the comment before, and they have not responded to that part of the comment. Great. Uh, the, which is the building's form and how the sign changes the building's primary form, which yep. is a corner. Mm -hmm. um, isn't, this, yeah. isn't this corner the only solid area? This is such a dark photograph, it's a little bit, I, but the, isn't it all, is it a glass building? I mean, no. Is that all glass? Or? Below. No, that's Just below. The upper part's all metal, it's a vertical siding for the parking garage. It's for the parking garage. It's a dark aluminum siding with air slots between the vertical. Oh, okay. What What's so dark on either side of that? Yeah, thing? it's vertical metal, a dark aluminum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the sign could go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, I think it, it comes back to Bob's comment, though, about where everybody else puts right. their signs, too. Right, because right. Yeah. I think before we can deal with any one sign, we have to have that spoken to. Yeah. Um, but but am I, uh, just so that I can respond to zoning, that, that the comment uh, from the In board addition, we're not excited about having the sign in the void. I, yeah, so it's basically the same <coughs> comment as before. Yeah. It's the same comment as before. Uh, plus, we need the Correct. sign a sign plan for all the to show what's the, the next request that might be coming. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. The sign waiver AS eighteen dash okay. twenty five three yeah, you know oh eight three ten South Franklin. This will be fast. This is um, the daily bread, uh, which oh, have your cookie. Pastas, you know, pastas daily bread. existing awning was not code compliant, it was, it was too big, oh. um, and so they needed to downsize their awning, um, and you'll see the original here, you'll see original and proposed. Um, it's basically the same, same awning and signage as you see, mm -hmm. um, just smaller, um, but then they also wanted to add um, some additional sign it if you look at the back page uh, um, the smaller is it is it's not as it's it's not as the deep. width is the same it's not as high it's not as no it's not as it's higher it's, not as it's low. higher it's hot it's higher it's higher it's not as low correct. it's not as low okay that's correct do we know what that difference is uh, it 45 inches versus yeah. I can't uh, read I think this. it goes yeah. from it's noticeable it goes yeah, from no 55 to 46. So it was so reduced. It's nine inches. Okay. Both of these are proposed. It says original, but that's not built, is it? It's there. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's there. there. Yeah. 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 It doesn't yeah. comply. Wow. Yeah. So they're adjusting it so, they're that, adjusting it does it so that it does comply. Mm -hmm. So that's so not an comply. issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the they're, issue they're raising it yeah. nine, nine inches. That's, yes. Okay. Basically, yeah. And then um, they do have an updated logo. Um, which they and then, so now if you look on the back page, you'll see um, we have the, they're wanting to place the the logo in the actually I think their logo is already uh, in the windows 
to either side of the entrance. Obviously, yes. update their logo on the on the awning. And Therefore, they, the waiver, right? Yes, yeah, and um, and also then if you look, they want to put, and, and zoning considers this signage as well. They want to put basically their menu in in vinyl lettering on the inside windows of the you oh, know I as you're walking in, mm -hmm. yeah. and the the this this makes it look as though. I think I have some other photographs here of, just to show you what it looks like right now. Here we go. Let me send those around to you. Here. This makes it look as though they're very angled, those, those side windows. I think they do have a bit of an angle, mm -hmm. um, yeah. but mm -hmm. it's yeah. not quite as prominent as, so as no it looks in there. Either. Photo simulation. There's no logos here. Now. It looks like uh, there are. There are just some very. Oh, okay. it's it's, right, it's yeah. narrower logos. So the waiver here. is basically what they're doing in the windows. It's no, <coughs> yeah, it's yeah. well, and it includes the awning as well. Yeah, yeah, but 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 the awnings are now in compliance. Right. 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 Yeah. And the addition of the four decals, vinyl, uh, are what the waiver is all about. Basically, the number the the number of signs that they'd like. To I have a question: Is the and what does the code say again? Well, one. They're not one, a single. Sign. One. It's just two. It's two. One. Many. And here they have three plus the menus. Actually. Well, you count the menus too. Okay. So it's like five. So they have five. Yeah. Sounds like. I have a question. Excess. The the diagram of of. Um, is this a, a transparent vinyl or a green vinyl uh, that's 52 inches by? Is, can you, do you know oh, what I mean? Uh, I, yes. This looks like it's a total green vinyl with leather. Okay. Yep. I presume it's a transparent. I believe thing. it's a trans. Uh, we should verify uh, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> verify that. Yep. What's the comment of the board on the additional four signs? Too many. Uh, I, I would stick. I don't mean too many. I mean I would like to stick to the requirements of the signage ordinance. So would I. The requirements of the signage ordinance would would indicate that they only get one a single sign. And that would be the awning. The awning. And that would be the that yeah. would be the awning. Now, what's interesting is I'm generally in support of transparent logos on windows because it was a very traditional technique by right. sign readers and everything else. Yeah. I like it. I like the character and I like the individual logo. Maybe that's an area that we. It's transparent and minimal to their logo. It's acceptable. You know, it really signatures the window. I'm fine with that too. I, I too. think that the only nice. comment I'd make uh, to the board is this would be precedent. Right. Going oh, I, I think that we. It's we've done it before. Done it. We've mm -hmm. done it before. So, yeah. Anyway, so what were you going to say? I was going to say I don't mind the logos on the mm -hmm. display windows, but if I they're think, transparent, if mm -hmm. they're transparent, but I think that the menu. Is too much. They're really big. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they're <laughs> and they're obviously dark, and I, I don't see any reason to do that. But since the traditional way, um, the traditional way to show the menu, which I've seen here and also elsewhere, is a small box that you open, and well, there's lots of ways to do it. And, and, and but the, that's relative to the window. Yeah, a small box affixed somewhere like near the entrance uh, that shows and what. And then the, the people, yeah, the, the restaurant tour changes what's can in change the box. It, right. yeah. um, so if I'm reading the board, we applaud the change to the awning. Mm -hmm. And as long as the two window decals are transparent, uh, we would uh, be okay. in favor of that. But we are not in favor of the menu decals or menu signage. Right, correct. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, Kate, you got that? Yep. Okay. Let's talk about a garage. <laughs> Everybody got an open mind this morning? <laughs> Absolutely. Have a cookie, everybody. <laughs> Get good and sugared up. So I, uh, I lost Charlie at home. No, actually, she's <laughs> <laughs> working to pay for this garage. Um, <laughs> yeah, <right>. So, <laughs> yeah, it's getting to be a bit of, more of a doozy than we expected. But um, so I just wanted to, to thank everybody again. Um, 
So I didn't uh, spend a lot of time with the architect on materials and designs because I did look at some of the homes that he's designed, uh, took some drives around, and I think you made a comment about some products. It's, it's all the rage of HGTV, but it's a little tackier than maybe what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, it looks tacky, it, unfortunately. It, it, it does, and I think and sometimes they get going on this and they start throwing features at things, and I'm, I took to heart what a few people said here, which was peel some of it off and simplify it, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's I just did. design. <laughs> and so um, I think what I just wanted to do was, was show you some sketches and just kind of remind everybody of where we're at. And, and, and this is not a sketches. formal submission. This nope, is not discussion. at all. It's just discussion. All. This, is, this is me asking you guys for some guidance on, you know, this is me asking you guys for some guidance on, before I go back to the architect and say go, because I did look at what he's designed, and I don't dislike it in any way, shape, or form. I, I don't want to say that. It's just a lot. There's yeah. the stone and the this yep. and this material yep. and that material, yep. and I don't need all that. Yeah. This is a garage. Um, I'd like to not go broke, and I'd like to not offend. So, um, Well, you're raising a very good basic point, which is what your goals are in the historical context where the garages were, unless it was a huge estate or a bishop's house with a carriage house that was meant to be decorative, it was a fairly common service building. Pretty simple. Yeah. yeah, and therefore, someone else's view, maybe the architect who wanted to make it much more significant, is not appropriate. So I think you're on Sorry, the right I don't track. have enough for everybody. That's okay. okay. We can share. So, we'll, just a picture of the house itself, and I just wanted to kind of remind folks that the garage is way, way back, set back. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so, what we're doing is you know, the initial sketches that, that Dan Manning had done you know, really showed a Dutch hip roof and, and uh, a gable facing the road and I think it was pretty clear with everybody that you know fundamentally if you want to make the garage a little bit wider a little taller that's not freaking people out but this whole change of the whole front facade I think really yeah, I think lost correct. a few people yeah okay <laughs> and if I'm uh, speaking out of turn mm -hmm. let, let me know but no, I, I think no. you're really we lost some yeah. people um, secondary just on the house itself just as an image I just wanted to share that the house itself is is tall that freeze board where the brick turns to stucco above mm -hmm. the windows mm -hmm. uh, is approximately, if you're at the, standing at the garage grade, is about 12 feet. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty tall, the house is already three, four steps out of the ground and then it's nine foot it's ceiling. Great. So it's that three great. board is up about 12 feet from the, the grade of the garage yeah. floor, okay? okay? And so that does help at least when we talk about the overall scale of the garage getting taller. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at this garage that's way back that's getting, the soffits are coming up three feet and that still puts them below the freeze board on the house. So even though the garage is getting substantially taller, the freeze board is still, or the, the soffits are still below the freeze board on the house. And so that's just a uh, yep. bigger picture. That's a very good point. Okay, and so I think that's just- we take as long as we can, because after this I have to go to the dentist. Okay, well, <laughs> um, so Definitely I think just trying to learn some scale. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, so I just want to kind of let some scale that this garage is now back 40 feet from the house, mm -hmm. and that the, the soffits, even though we're maybe looking at pulling them up three feet from where they're at, from 8, eight feet to yeah. 11 feet, still puts the soffits of the garage below the freeze board on the house. Is the front elevation of the garage going to be in approximately the same place as it is now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it'll be. It sorry, what was the question? The front, the front elevation of the garage the front, is going to be it, the front, the essentially front where it is now. The garage will move forward to the road by 13 inches, I think. Oh, it will move forward. Just oh, I'm not going to say for you. 13, 13 <laughs> inches. Um, and, uh, and that's only to fit some things in that we were talking about doing. Um, but uh, so 13 inches forward and then uh, taller is how we're, we're proposing it. Um, and what we did do, um, and I have a lot of things that I, I, I won't share unless we need them. Um, so I think that this was the image that kind of goes over that, which was just where we'd where we've moved the garage to versus where it's at today. Okay. So this is the new 13 inch position? Maybe, <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah, it okay. is a little bit. Yeah, okay. it's, okay. it's, it's pretty close. So um, I just wanted to kind of reiterate to everybody that this garage, we're, we definitely are going to have to make it a little wider than what's there. Um, and we're, we're going deeper into the hill. And that is a pretty good hill. It's a five and a half to six foot grade change from the garage floor in the front. Uh, to the to the uh, back, mm -hmm. so we are. That doesn't look like it when you're there, and I literally had to measure it three times in the transit because I didn't believe it. <laughs> um, that's part of the reason, also, that when we looked at raising the soffits on the garage, we felt as though, boy, leaving the soffits at eight or nine feet and then going into this 
hill that's six feet tall in the back left to south is only you know, this far off the ground in the back. So Just as an aside, have you checked with code on the side on the sideline side side setback? We are okay. right on the side setback. Okay. And, and that front corner, we are right on the setback. We are literally on it. On it. Okay. We're not a we're not a foot in it. We're on it. At every point after that corner, uh, we fall away from the setbacks, right. and we don't challenge them in any way on the side or the back at all. Okay. okay. Um, let me see if I just don't need because it's too much. Okay, so we started with Dan Manning and some sketches, and I, again, you know, I'm not going to go over, but we went through some different iterations, and the one that you guys saw that a, a few people here had a heart attack over, and I'm starting to understand why. Um, and I'm, I'm admitting that, okay? <laughs> don't tell anybody. Um, it was it was his proposal, and I don't have copies for everybody, it was his proposal that had um, kind of a Dutch hip roof at the right. front of it right. and the evil end facing the road. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then more than that, I think, is when he did the rendering, um, which everybody saw, was the, yeah. the, just, the, the overall comment was, ew, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, being nice about it, but it mm -hmm. just didn't like it, okay? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and the comment was made that that's not done in the neighborhood. It, it actually is done, so to Dan's credit, there are probably 25, 30 garages around the Cedric area that, that actually have that front. Actually, there's one right across the street from you. Um, right. Obviously, just sold, actually, has that style garage. Right. So some of them have been modified, and some of them yeah. are hip roots and houses, too. Right. So yeah, there's a little, and there's a little bit of everything. It's houses, interesting yeah. that there's some homes that have yeah. chips and then regular tables right. and, and right. some things in there. So, so what we did, and, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna share this, and, and this is not this is for discussion, please. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'll take these back with you before. You <laughs> then, um, so what we did was we just said, yes. What if we were to just simplify the roof and go just to a traditional hip roof on the garage? and get rid of the dormer, which was a suggestion here. Go to a hip roof that falls away, so it falls away from the driveway back, it falls away from the yard away, and get rid of these vertical surfaces yeah, that are making the building seem taller, taller, and taller. Okay. So that was the goal here, was to just simplify the roof and get rid of, I mean, the garage still has the height because of the roof, but it is falling away from the road, it is falling away from the yard, it is falling away from the road. So this can, is this is a retaining well, wall here. Yeah, that's actually the stone wall that's there. Um, so what is there now is there is uh, next to the garage now an existing stone retaining wall right. and steps. Right. And so this garage is designed about you know three feet wider than what's there to nestle straight in and not affect the stone wall, not affect the stone steps, not affect the pool, not affect the fence, the trees, other than a limb on a tree. None of the trees are coming down. Uh, no, no need to do anything. It, it just literally just slots straight into the, into the property. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So it definitely grows depth wise. I, pre um, I presume you've you still got your lift. Is it yep. lift here for two cars, and yep, it fits into do. this this sloping front roof that's on the section. Yeah, and okay. that was a challenge. It looks so to me like it still is, but it, it, it yeah. actually works. Okay. Um, and I, I have a lot of information on why Good. it works, okay. but there's there's actually a comment that I want to make, which was. It addresses one of the comments made, which was, if you could really keep two garage doors on the front to, to match what you have now, it would be great. And I mean, I can't. I, I can't get two garage doors on the front. And the reason is, in order for my wife to not hit the garage doors, they need to be nine feet wide. Uh, and that, that moves me from a 16-foot door to two nine-foot doors, and then the space in between them, which means we've taken the doors on the front, we've pushed them outward to the outside, now when the roof, the garage door goes up and has to fold in under this roof line, it right. doesn't fit anymore. Right. And that's the reason. And I'm not joking about her wanting the garage door. Yeah. So, so this is a solid garage single, door? That is a single 16 foot And it goes garage up door. on an angle? It will actually go up uh, on a crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you got inches between your cars and the roof. There we go, we found it. We found the garage door solution. Um, and that is the garage door solution for how it will actually open or fit. And I didn't believe it at first. But a three panel garage door, one panel. One panel will sit vertical, one will sit on the side, and one will sit flat. 
and, uh, and it actually does clear everything. It clears the, the lift, it clears the mechanism. Just help me out. I'm just, it, it seems to me, how high is this? How high is this elevation that you're proposing? Because you've got a, I thought you had a two car lift here. Yep. And you're saying this is a, this surface I opened is higher than the second car, obviously. Yep. So it's up. It, it technically is about at the line of the car, but because oh, as you can picture. Yeah. Okay, so if we can go to one of these. I it's can, okay. I, I assume you're obviously right on top of the mechanics. Well, right. I'm a little over on top of it. That's the problem. What's the total height of the garage? That's perfect. I can't read that. It's 22. Is it 22 or is it 23? It might be 22. Oh, 83 panels. Yeah. It was 22 one before. He may have changed it with the rear final. Yeah. 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 Oh, the overall height, yeah. And the overall height now is 16? 23. 24. Okay. So, sorry, 23. Gotcha. 23. It's 23. Yeah, and 1 8 inches. Oh, so good. So, does it all. Okay. Okay. And that was so it's seven, about seven, <coughs> foot taller. seven foot taller. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So from the back side, uh, the neighbors, it's, anybody that can see it from the back, which there's two homes back there, um, they're going to see a garage that's 23 minus the six and a half foot. Six foot right. right. So they're going to see a pretty traditional garage from there end. Uh, from the road, it's going to be taller, but what he tried little, to do was mask the height sorry. by going to the garage door and then by pulling the soffits down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, there may be an opportunity, I think, but we haven't gone into a full on design. Mm -hmm. I believe there's an opportunity to actually flatten the pitch of the roof a little bit and shorten yeah. that pitch a little bit. I believe he has allowed a little bit more clearance on the garage door, uh, on the corners of the garage door, which would be here. I believe he's left a little more clearance than he needs here. Um, once we go to an end-mounted jack shaft garage door opener uh, and do some things, we don't really, that almost could just touch the corners. And I think that's going to be an opportunity to take a little bit of a shot of the roof. But no, that's a full-on design, and that's going to cost me $400,000. So yeah. we want to make sure that we, yeah. you know, that we're not, that the overall concept isn't, isn't freaking anybody out. We did take a couple pictures of a couple garages in the neighborhood that are, um, this one was an interesting one. This is right in the neighborhood, and this garage is actually 21 by 41, and it's right in the neighborhood. And, uh, and it's a forward-facing gable and whatever, but it, it just gives yeah. you the, the perspective that there, we do have several garages in the neighborhood that are essentially yeah. similar size. Um, Height-wise, that particular picture is not going to be as tall as this garage. But we've also gone through the neighborhood um, and we've measured. Good for you. We've Good measured you. four garages in the neighborhood uh, that are that are 21, 22, and 23 feet, and there's one that's actually 24. You're doing great research here. It's very helpful. This this drawing, this example is exactly where my recommendations were going to go with what I've seen here, and that is this building is not quite as big as yours, but almost. Real close. It's, it's yeah, real it's close. Not quite as big. Actually. And what they've done here that is advantageous to this, and it was done in the period of the, of the 1910s to 1920s, is they've taken the diverse elements, in this case the windows, and coordinated to, to a basic building form. Sorry. This, what, what I mean by that is they've taken these units and aligned the head of these units into the two primary, the base and the cap of this building. That's what your current design is not quite doing. Yep. Uh, what I'm saying no is, sign, no and, <laughs> and the strength of this building is exactly the strength of this building, is that these this base element, which is the primary setting for the thin cap, and over the years this got bigger or smaller, and they would align the heads or the sills with those two primary datums. So it would be that this approach of coordinating your, you see in your in your in your elevations how yep. the, how you've got he's got the wall kind of arbitrarily low. Well, I would and, recommend. And, and he's, he, he put the stone at the bottom, which is all the rage. And I know. Like, okay. Uh, so here's my point. This <laughs> approach. What's that? Why yeah. not a brick garage? I will tell you this. I went searching for bricks just to do some repairs on the house, mm -hmm. and I almost gave myself a heart attack. Yeah. I got as far as Ohio, and I quit. I, I can't uh. get the brick. And what happens is I get the color, but I can't get the wire cut. Um, they can't do that. And then the only other concern I had with doing it in brick is because of the back gardens and the back limestone stone wall there, I was trying to envision how all this is limestone is going to match this brick. 
and, and I would almost rather just do the garage as a simple stucco like it is or do it as a, a, a nice cement board siding yeah, or something that the, that the board likes. Something and honest. Get away from all yeah. the different materials. Yeah. Let's just let the garage door and the windows yeah. and the, the wide soffits and the roof line stand and yeah. let's get away from it. Shark's got enough plants back there to I, I think you're you're right. To simplify is the strength of this, mm -hmm. and yep. and, and this and this is perfect example. Regardless of the materials, which are great. I mean, if you could do brick, you would do brick probably, because that's the base of this building. I would either do it in brick or stucco or right. something. That stucco may be appropriate, but my point is, is to coordinate the windows. Don't have that horizontal low stone wall in there because it looks arbitrary. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. I am actually I'm really glad that you said that. Uh, for yeah, a couple I don't different like that. Reasons. Yeah. And uh, oh, I, I, yeah, I would, I would, yeah. I, I, I have an approach which is just following your building too. Yeah. So yeah. we did it originally. Yeah. It was it didn't yeah. have anything like that. Is this know? current? This is not current, right? Doodle, doodle away. All I was going to say was <laughs> based on this building's strength, which is it's three parts. It's a base, a, a, an overhang, yeah. a significant, and then there's the shadow line. And I would bring this an element up like this. Right across there. Okay. I would do all of this in a replica. I mean, if you could do brick, fine. No, and I wouldn't do it. Well, let me see. You can't either. I'm not telling them to do that. I'm just saying in general. Go for it, go find but it. this would be the base, and then this overhang is just like this. That's yeah. the strength of this. Yeah. And let this be the separator, and it could be just like this element. The it, way it, this is designed now is brick, freeze board, stucco, and yeah, uh, right. then there's another trim board that sits right. on top of the windows, and then just the wide soffit. And the, the soffits on this house, for, for everybody, um, they are literally right. huge. Right. They are huge. Right. They they are are significant. They are so cool, though. And it was one of the things that drew us to the house, um, and it, it's a standard four square colonial. But it's, just Franklin right went through this with the prairie houses. Yeah. He started with a, this box, and then he extended the overhangs, and then he brought the base up, and he had the horizontal slit. This is a very powerful house. Yeah. So what I think I wanted to do is share that the overall shape of the garage works with a single door. I, and I'm exterior materials, window trim. I'm I've all the flexibility in the world as long as I can find the material and I can find the to do it. The yeah. stucco has been a massive problem from my perspective. But if you could help me with this, it would be great. Um, I've got one question oh. on the north Before, elevation. Okay. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Tom is trying. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm sitting too far to the side. Yes. Yeah. 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 You got it. Um, in our staff report, there is a remark about our making some comments or perhaps giving you some help on the exterior material. And I would like to support your comments about stucco, where I can remember homeowners with stucco uh, who somewhat as a complaint would tell other people um, I love my house but I'm stuck with stucco and it is uh, it, it can be a high maintenance and a very annoying exterior to have on a building and on a house so I am sympathetic I am sympathetic to looking for an alternative to stucco. Uh, and so some sort of siding, uh, perhaps some sort of siding that, that uh, gives you the illusion of stucco, uh, or any, anything, anything, um, because uh, I, I have uh, a particular aversion to stucco. I think, I think it's, an, it's an annoying thing to have to deal with over time. I can't find anybody who does stucco. Everybody does the dry bit or the nice. and, and I don't want it to look like top there, of the There are there <laughs> are folks who who do stucco, yeah. and I, um, there are a couple different um, masons in town. Um, and and that was kind of they've done some really is. they've done good work in Berkeley Park in yeah. particular. And I, the so. difference here is a lot of people that have done some stucco are doing panels of stucco, right. and so between you know wood and, and a panel can be handled and it's individually on a failure point when you end up with a full wall of it it's kind of an all in one and and i don't have an objection to stuff i don't have an objection to yeah, finding somebody but if there is a, a cement fiber siding or a different material or a panel board that, that can look the right without trying to be artificial and I, I really despise the whole hgtv look thing that's going on right now so i don't want it to look like that but if there is an alternative material or way to do it that still complements the house whether it matches it or you feel it's complimentary, I am open to that. Not just to save money, but to your point, 
you know, I don't want to be repairing stucco every six months. Well, let me just say a couple of things. I didn't want to leave stucco as a non, right? As a totally non. Let's let's talk about the form and the architectural style first. As a board, is this the direction that we want to encourage the applicant to go? Yes. Simplify the roof form. Okay. And simplify the building points. Saving me a ton of work. Okay. Winner. And secondly, uh, uh, the little detail, just I have to mention this because uh, for right. some reason the head of the entrance is yeah. higher than the windows. That yeah. doesn't happen. And I think it we're also be, telling you not, that it should be simplified to so the building's massive, not yeah. to the individual door. Yeah. Getting yeah. some sort of this line across, uh, you know, deep sixing the stone. Right you know, Thank you. I, right here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. All of that's great. Oh, that's why I brought it. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of stuff. It's simple and everybody likes it. Nobody, nobody goes by that and says that's not appropriate. Oh, that's right. Cool. And, Excellent example. You know, as far as stucco, and I agree with what Tom says, that said, today's stucco is not yesterday's stucco. The product's improved. Yes. And some of yesterday's stuccos are tighter than a drum some because they use the hard cements. Right. There are different right. technical answers. So, you're so right there to are find different right aspects guy. of that, but yeah. we're certainly, I think, open to discussing materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's probably your next step is to um, do your research and start coming in with colors, materials, yep. windows, yep. specs on all that stuff. Yep. Yep. And, we, and we have some of that now, but it was, I certainly wanted to make sure there's no form. Yeah, form was, right was a comfortable level, and then, and I didn't want to go down a path of an extra material that the board just said, right. that's just a total waste of time or right. money, or it looks horrible right. and whatever. No. What are the walls proposed here, uh, construction? What kind Two of construction? Six. Two by six. Okay. We, we considered yeah. if it was going to be stucco. I know. Whole thing That's what I was thinking too. I was wondering if you'd go on that yeah. road. We're going to do it in stucco yeah. and got to put a substrate up there to hold stucco. Then block, why not block, block and start right. the whole building and right. then just and then right. have a mason trowel the stucco on and right. probably have we'd have a lot less expansion. In That's what I was wondering. Yes. Yeah. 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 If there would be yeah. 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 About the less movement around the windows concern. and the doors. Right. Right. And I would encourage you if you're looking at stucco to think about any objection to a block constructed garage? No. Anybody? And, well, there's another there's approach. There's a ton of them in the neighborhood. As long as it is parged in some fashion. You know, yeah, you not just. Can you get that decorative block? <laughs> 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 pretty clear on that one, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> there's okay. another technique. I apologize. I have to go, go to your dentist and get drilled. Right. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Really Thank you for this. There was another approach to this that is like, it's an insulated, a concrete insulated form. It's styrofoam blocks that you actually pour concrete into a styrofoam block. So it gives you your insulation, your, your form, and then on the outside you can put any finished material you want, whether it's brick. I've done it on brick before. And I highly think that when you start to talk about putting stucco on Merry Christmas. Like that, you too. Happy, Happy New Year. See you. It starts to make a lot more sense because I start looking at a wood frame constructed building yeah. and I need to insulate the walls yeah. and then I need to put exterior sheeting on and then I've got to put a uh, you know, a concrete board on, and then we've got a, we've got seams, and we've got a trowel, and hope that things don't move, because the, nobody's going to do the traditional way, which is the wood lath and the screen and all everything overlapping. You know, you just can't find it. The Bosnians from uh, Utica will do it if you can get them. Yeah. I mean, that's who we used to do the stucco on this house mm -hmm. uh, when we did it when, when we repaired all that. Oh God, eight nine years ago, and that was quite a. I had a question. Can I ask another question? Uh, you were talking about uh, you're doing a single overhead, single door. overhead door. What's the appearance of it going to be? Is it going to look like a four, like a two door panel? Something it's going like to look just yeah. In so fact, it's going to have four divisions as opposed to something else, or what? It'll actually be three panels. Um, yeah, it should be a three panel door. Um, <coughs> a three panel door. One will look at and wonder how it opens in a way. Yeah. In a traditional reference. Even though they used to do it, they used to do a double pair like this and have a single off to the side. Mm -hmm. We have answers. We ask questions, yeah. we have answers. Yeah. That is a door in uh, right. Liverpool right. that we pretty much assume would be. Yeah, so that's a, that's a four part door. It looks like a four part Yeah, four part. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it's what a, this is showing. A four part door, it's a three panel, so there's actually only three flat panels. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You oh, mean panels no. this no. way? Yeah, this yeah, way. I was talking four, about. Yeah, four, four, uh, yeah, four yeah, I was not talking about panels in this yep. sense. I was talking about the appearance to look like four panels. We actually like this. Uh, you know, we were debating on the windows and stuff. We actually like the simplicity of those windows as opposed to having all the 
Yeah. They all the grid in them, but yeah. I, don't like, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right on. I like that you look. Know, I just right thought on. it's a garage. It doesn't need to. Yeah. You know. It doesn't matter. Well, this is a good reference. That's yeah. what I was trying That's to go for. That's what we were doing there. Uh, shingles, kind of a certainty, Landmark Pro or something like that, just a weathered wood or something Yeah, let me like say that. one other thing here, because as we were talking about this stucco. Does look like the ones on your roof. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you're, you're, in, you're, you're looking for the appropriate sidings for yep. this, because you've got two or three options. Tom, you mentioned stucco, so I was starting to think about if our goal is to have this kind of simplicity, this one, that you could look at, at siding, as you mentioned, down below, and that siding could be narrow to replicate the brick coursing horizontality. As opposed to a wide, okay, right. so you'll carry a wide Exactly, now, look at, now just think about that difference for a minute. A narrow siding versus a as wide. A wide siding on this type of building would make this so you'll, base because look. Because you can clearly pick out the, um, the mason, the, right. the, the mortar the coursing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that would give a horizontal, narrow look with a simple board like this, simple approach to the upper That's portion. Nicer one. Yeah, now that, could, that type of approach could work as well. Okay. The colors could do your own. So is that appropriate, what I just said about the scale of siding as a possibility? I think as long as the scale is right. Yeah. Okay, so no it's got to be scale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it would it's change the whole look of the building. Well, then that's why I was having a hard time with siding because I've seen some of I couldn't quite put my finger on why I like some siding. And that's so I did. I, it's the narrow coursing and then, of yeah. course, the vinyl stuff that's overlapped. You went to the three of homes and you walked off the front porch and you were looking at the seam yeah, I know. of all the siding. I mean, can't you not just put a solid? There, so when I come oh, up the that's the problem. But those are the weird things that I see that I realize 99% <laughs> of America doesn't see. No, but that's the yeah. quality level you know, right there that you're looking at. Oh, you have a slate roof, don't you? I have a slate roof. Can you do Does a slate roof want on it? No. No. Because <laughs> <Sale. laughs> <laughs> I was late. <laughs> oh, your house was late. Just a slate. house will pop out of the ground three feet when I take the slate off. You, you need any slates for yours? Well, uh, nice, get you a nice deal. Yeah. But we are looking, so the garage door we think we found, we think the certainty, the, the weathered wood or the, the deeper dimensional, not the crazy deep, the dimensional. We found a simple light. Yeah, we're glad we can get rid of the limestone. Um, so you yeah. know the windows that we were looking at were um, the margin integrity windows, um, which are a nice window. They, they yeah. do have a true divide. It's not a true divide, but it's simulated, but it's got the inner and the outer. Uh, yeah. So, you know, they don't like all. You don't, because when you stand, now, now I would have to look, yeah, you see between them. And that is not what a historic window looks like. Yeah, I agree. And this, so I was told that this was a window that has been regularly no, approved. Related. That's what we do. And if yeah. you don't like this, I was told that this window was regularly approved, and this is the window I need to look at. This is the Marvin? Yeah, no, we do. I mean, the it board is. does we do approve that. We do approve it. Divided. And Marvin, we have yeah. definitely approved. I think that Marvin, the Marvin is the may have the option of, when they're simulated divided, I think Marvin has got the option of the insert yes, between they, the glass. I believe they do. That's what addresses that, so yeah. you don't end up with that. I can see yeah. through on the angle. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. And I think that's the windows that they, um, I went to Ryan, if, I don't know if you yeah, met Ryan, sure. Ryan. No, I good. spent some time with him, and he said, you know, Sean, the, 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 the sky's the limit on windows, but this is a really good quality he's window, right. he's right. you, can, you can detail it nicely without it breaking the bank. aluminum uh, clad? It is a clad. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine, too. I mean, that we... The board has approved that as well. I don't. No, no, I, 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 I need to go because I have a plumber okay. coming. Okay, good. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Same <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Oh. So that's that's all I'm trying to do is to make the concept of unifying. This this approach will bring you into this approach. Bring your heads up, and then all this material, the all this bottom. material, yes, all this material is it. And that'll, that'll focus on the base and Thanks. the roof. Same to you. little separator, which is what the strength of this building is. Good. Thank you, everybody. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Now you're at the over here. Because I was having a corner in there. So any option you can find out, I'd be very happy to find something better. <laughs> stuck is not as terrible as Tom's making it. I don't disagree with any of your points, but I've seen stucco very good in older buildings. And I've seen it be a problem when the backup was moving and the stucco wasn't a crack all over. We've been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're working That's today. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. Did Sometimes. I bring up pretty pictures for everybody? I'm sorry to do this to No, you did a good I job. I just wanted to let you know that we didn't, we're not just coming at this with what the architect says or what we saw next door. We really are. We, we've been in the house long enough to, no. to know what we want. No, I, it's, I think you're advancing it quite well.
Thank you for your so I diligence. Will, I will ask Dan to, to kind of revise some sketches with a, yeah, we do. Uh, a simplification. Yeah. Um, uh, I will we will look into a narrower siding, and the next time I see you, I will have some samples on some siding, and I'll sample the roof shingles, and I will have um, some better pictures of the doors. Um, and, Good. And, and a garage door, I can't carry it. No, that's right. <laughs> Good. Very good. Okay. No, we okay. We're okay with the garage door being painted as opposed to being natural wood because it yeah. probably was never natural wood to be honest with you. Yeah, as long as the material is not vinyl or something like that. No, it's a prime. It's a. It, it is a. Uh, we can either get it as a fiberglass, which yeah. is a real white texture primed, and then we paint that, mm -hmm. um, or you end up with a. Um, you end up with these wood embossed ones, which to me, yeah, I, they look waxy. Yeah. I don't know how they to do. describe it. Like a lot of the ones I've seen, they look shiny. Yeah. And I don't think that we would have had a shiny door. Uh, an actual wood overlay garage door, I will share with you, is $12,500. Mm -hmm. I don't have that in the no. mm -hmm. But I think you're right. Not to, not to not to use a fake wood look. Like you say, a flat panel painted mm -hmm. would be the right thing. Yeah, well, that's, we saw this door in Liverpool, and my wife said, I don't care if they're home, take pictures of that garage door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the stalkers. In <laughs> not only that, but you could paint this differently based on panel and bring out yeah, the highlights that you have in your plans. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good holiday. Have a good holiday, you too. You too. Have a cookie or two. And <laughs> motion to adjourn. Yeah, motion to adjourn. I guess we can. Adjourn. I move to adjourn. There you go. Yeah, okay. We are to move to Christmas, right?